the dangerous and now deadly stretch of I-70 in Topeka. And the area is known as the Polk Quincy Viaduct. Now, the bridge runs around downtown Topeka with a big, narrow curve on an elevated stretch of highway. Safety has been a concern there for quite some time now, but just last week, a seven car pileup happened in the area, killing a 29 year old Manhattan woman, Brooke Rees. The crash adds importance to the Kansas Department of Transportation's meeting to discuss updating the bridge. So, right now, here's the newly proposed design. The blue lines are the city streets. And then the black lines actually show the highway around that big dangerous curve right there. And then the orange lines, well, that's the proposed new ramps on I-70. And those ramps would be at Topeka Boulevard and Kansas Avenue, as well as 8th and 10th Streets. Now, the proposal would be to split it into two projects. It would also add extra lanes and reshape it with straightening out that sharp curve. So here's another look at it. Now remember, it's just a proposal. You get the current layout on the left-hand side, the redesigned proposal on the right side, and if state leaders decide to go through with this plan, the final design is not set to be completed until 2025, and the estimated cost is $200 million. The governor has signed a bill to help communities hit with sky-high energy and gas bills after that extreme cold weather. And also, the bill creates low-interest loan program for cities experiencing high utility costs from the winter storm. The state would have up to $100 million for loans to cities in Kansas to help them pay off those massive electric and gas bills after the brutal cold from two weeks ago. State lawmakers say it's their top priority to get the cities as help as soon as quickly as possible. It was just imperative to do because an individual that had normally a $150 electric bill could end up to be over a thousand dollar electric bill, even more for businesses. This is what government should be. This is what good government looks like, is everybody working together quickly to help solve a problem. Arctic weather resulted in those rolling blackouts that hit many areas to conserve energy and natural gas. And now communities that receive their utilities from a service not regulated by the state are seeing sky high bills. And that can add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, we know in our area, some communities have already been impacted, like Denison, a very small community close to Holton with 187 people. They're scrambling right now to figure out how they can pay a $240,000 bill. And right now, we're taking you live with a bird's eye view over the State House in Topeka, where the Senate passed a proposal to get all public K-12 schools in Kansas back in the classroom. Coming up, why the Senate believes now's the time and how it could really help students.